Hello everyone. For this week's discussion for the William Allen, Allen White Award, I chose to read Clementine by Sarah Pennypacker. And this story is about a young girl named Clementine who absolutely despises her fruit name and her friend Margaret. And this story talks about all of the different mischief and mayhem that they get into. Margaret one day gets some glue in her hair in class and she goes into the restroom and um, Clementine goes in after her to see what's wrong and she had cut a little bit of her hair off to try and get the glue out and was very upset about it. So Clementine decides to go ahead and help her out and give her a haircut the rest of the way. Well, that wasn't exactly what she was supposed to have done and Margaret's mother was very upset with her. So she went home and decided to cut her hair off so that Margaret didn't have to be alone. Well, not only did this upset Clementine, but it upset Clementine's parents as well. So after the hair cutting incident happened, Clementine snuck her mother's magic markers into Margaret's house and decided that she was going to give her red curls that Margaret always said was so beautiful because Clementine's hair was red and curly. And so with this special marker, she colored her hair and gave her red curls on her forehead and down the nape of her neck. And this obviously did not settle well, well with Margaret's mother either. And so Clementine decided to allow Margaret to color her hair, but the color that was chosen was green. And so now they both had short, awful haircuts with different colors that they shouldn't have had in the first place. And Margaret and Clementine discover after they get into an argument about a birthday party that had happened that they don't think that they're friends anymore. And Margaret makes a new best friend and this really upsets Clementine. And Clementine is really struggling with the situation and she overhears a conversation that her mother and father are having and thinks that she's being sent away and gets very, very upset about it. But in the end, after the argument has come and gone and their friendship has been rekindled, rekindled, there is a party for Clementine for her helping her father get rid of the pigeons on the building that he manages. And I feel like this story is something very important for other children to read or have read to them because it demonstrates several different life skills that children need. It talks about the power of friendship and how friendship is very important and it's something that people go after and it's not something that should easily be given up on and it also talks about the importance of forgiveness and both Margaret Clementine and their parents all learned that forgiveness is very important not only to give but to also get and it's upsetting when you aren't being forgiven by somebody that's really important to you and finally they learn that it's important to ask for help when they think they need it. Not after they've already done something to fix a mistake and it goes wrong, but fix it the correct way with an adult's help. And that's something that I think children need to hear because I think that oftentimes they're afraid that adults are going to be angry about whatever it is that happened, and so they don't want to ask for help. But sometimes you have to ask. Um, for my strategy, I would have the students in my class write about a time that they made a mistake and they didn't ask for help. And I would have them write a paragraph about how the incident turned out and then write about what would happen in their opinion if an adult would have helped them resolve the situation. Thank you.